So I'll ask you once again, Samurai. Do you surrender? Don't act like when you were a kid, you didn't run around with cardboard cutouts and plastic swords, cutting down your enemies like a samurai. Well, you're in luck, boys. Ghost of Tsushima is right around the corner, and this is going to be the most authentic and realistic take on how to be a samurai, or maybe go a bit darker and be a little more stealth. And that's up to you. I needed to make this video because, wow, this game quite possibly could be the one of the best games this generation, and it's definitely visually one of the most breathtaking games. That end of the life cycle console generation, like when they're about to just switch over to the next one, those are the best games you'll get ever. Like you can look back many times and that's been proven that at the end of the life cycle of a console we are going to get some crazy things and you just saw that with last of us 2 and now we have here another playstation exclusive only coming out less than a month later and it looks ungodly beautiful i i just it's hard to describe i'll be showing plenty of clips throughout this and i'll be talking to you guys about what to expect from Ghost of Tsushima. First thing I wanted to get into was the amount of realism, authenticity, and detail that the development team over at Sucker Punch put into this game. It's unbelievable. They went out of their way to record things like ambient sound from Japan such as leaves falling from the sky and wind blowing and birds chirping. And it's kind of unbelievable how much detail they put into 13th century futile Japan when the mongrels were attacking. The setting of this game is very important to this development team and you can see that written all over. And then it comes down to the exploration. We have the perfect setting, but they took it a step farther where you don't just pull up your map and go to the story waypoint that's up ahead. You have to discover each and every location and explore the world around you and really immerse yourself in this world. Quite literally have to follow the wind to your custom markers or your st story points. You have to pay attention to animals and birds that are running by you or flying to make sure that you don't miss all these interesting points around the map. They will literally take you to shrines and people that need help. Then there's smoke billing through the trees. It must be a sign of people around. It must be an enemy or somebody in need. Quite literally going to be one of the most detailed and explorative maps that we've ever seen in a video game. This time, at the end of the generation, we have the full power, and you know this game is going to get ported over to PS5. We have the full power of the console at our hands, and this game is going to take full advantage of it, and you can see that written all over. Now, if you've played games done by Sucker Punch before, like the Infamous series, you know they care about the small details and the map. They do a great job in that regard. But when it comes to combat and movement, that's where they really shine. You've seen some amazing things from the Infamous series, but now they're going in a more realistic and dynamic approach. They've taken real swordsmen from our time, professionals, to learn the stances 
and to learn the true combat of a samurai. They've taken so many minor details and so many major concepts and they're throwing it all together into this incredibly realistic combat. I can't wait to dive into a battle as a samurai in this game. Taking that honorable approach, just walking up to your enemies, staring them dead in the eye, and knowing that you're about to cut that bitch down. <laughs> uh, like, incredible. I, I, it looks just so smooth, so seamless. He's literally blocking arrows with his sword when in a water stance, taking out enemies with one swift movement every time. They don't even know what hit them half the time. And you're looking them dead in the eyes like an honorable samurai. Just, wow. Like, expect realistic and very authentic combat from this game. That is something that I can promise you. But, if you're not one to take that approach, if you're not one to be an honorable samurai and take your enemies head on, you can just demolish them as a dishonorable ghost. So the whole thing with this game is the mongrels have attacked you and your family has been wiped out completely. And you are the sole survivor. And there he takes this to a whole nother level. You start as that samurai and you can choose to build up that samurai tactic and continue down that honorable path. Or, you can go dark and do whatever it takes to take out your enemy. And this is where this game gets interesting. Because you can literally choose the path you want to take. If you are that sneaky, run around type guy that doesn't want to be seen for as long as possible, you want to stab him in the back, use your grappling hook to get from point A to point B so no one ever sees you dodge around everybody taking guys out one hit at a time you get spotted throwing stars right in their face literally take three guys out with one throw and then boom boom take out the rest of them real quick and then enemies will literally run scared i like in the trailer you see the man fall on the ground and freak out and another guy running as fast as he can <laughs> is unbelievable it looks so real and so authentic to what would really happen if you saw a man murder six guys in about three seconds in front of you you'd probably get the hell out of there <laughs> and wow just clean overwhelmingly epic looking combat that is definitely one thing that I have little to no complaints with when it comes to this game. Just looking at it, you know that it's going to be incredible. And it's all motion captured by real traditional swordsmen. Like, that is something that, like I said, they're taking it almost too far in this game. But it's awesome. And like, I know I'm buying it day one, and I'd love to see how well it does, because they deserve it. You could see the work and the craftsmanship that they put into this game. It is just beautiful beyond belief. The combat's so seamless. I just can't wait. Um, now, a lot of people have mentioned that there's so many similarities that they seem to like Assassin's Creed or Sekiro. Now where I would agree with you in most points is you can move around like Assassin's Creed. You can jump from point A to point B, you climb on stuff. But as I mentioned earlier, you're also getting a grappling hook that you can grab onto ledges and swing from certain things. Now, I haven't seen that in a lot of games. They probably took that a little bit of a concept of that from Sekiro, but it's not quite the same. It seems like you can grab onto a lot more areas for this. Now, 
I agree. You're basically an assassin when you're in the ghost mood. But then you have to look at the other side. Like, you can just be that samurai and take those perfectly timed attacks and deal out those one-hit damages and face your guys head on. Now, I know, yes, there's a lot of comparisons to Assassin's Creed there still and Sekiro, but I don't think that any other game has quite gotten this right like this. As I said, them using motion capture from like real traditional swordsmen who know all the stances and all the forms of combat from Japan, I, I think this is going to be something special. I think this is going to take it a step farther than we've seen in many other games. Um, I don't think Assassin's Creed has done anything quite like this. Um, and you've seen the direction that Assassin's Creed has gone with Odyssey and now Valhalla. Um, I think this game is going to stay true and pure to what it is. It is going to be like a classic samurai movie, a, a, a true Jap Japanese story. Like, it's going to be just what it is at its roots. And for the people that love those kinds of stories, they are going to absolutely fall in love with this game. They allow you to go into a black and white cinematic mode to literally play as if you're in a samurai movie from, like, the 60s. <laughs> um, they are doing epic photo modes to enjoy the crazy, beautiful scenery around the map. And just so much more things that I just, like, it's a lot of, it's an amalgamation of all the things we've seen in other games put together into a beautiful, like, samurai ninja story. Like, I just, this is what we've always wanted. When we were playing with those cardboard cutouts and our plastic swords, you wanted to cut down a guy and just feel like a beast and feel like you could do anything and be that, like, almost Jedi or like I said samurai like you want to be a ninja when you were a kid and we're getting that in its true form now it's not just oh this is the setting it's in and this is the kind of game I want like Ninja Gaiden or something like Ninja Gaiden is set in the Asian world but it's not really like done the way it should have been like not I shouldn't say that because it's a great game but uh, it's not done in a very accurate and authentic way where this game takes that and makes sure that's their focus point and i think that's incredible um it is a fictional story it is set in the 13th century japan and set w in the battle with the mongrels but it is a fictional story so they take this one man who was taken from his family essentially and was the only survivor like, everyone is dead in his family. So he goes all out. And he will do anything to avenge them. And that alone, the detail and the world building that they can do around that, and his struggle with being an honorable samurai to his family, because, like, a samurai would kill himself almost if... He dishonored his family or dishonored their name so it's very interesting to see his struggle and throughout the story what he decides to do or what you decide to do and now again with the uh the whole honorable dishonorable thing or the whole samurai and ghost thing this is very interesting because it doesn't just lead off story points and you don't just hit a button and say i want to be a samurai or i want to be stealth you actually have to adapt your player or adapt the character to how you want him to play. You got to take on these different pieces of armor and put on certain weapons and use certain tools to your advantage. And when you actually customize your armor, it will help alter mechanics in play style of how your character will move, how he will have more defense or more health like if you are suited up like a samurai with that heavy armor on 
you are going to be slower. But you can still get those quick slashes and fatal attacks. But if you lower your armor and put on smaller clothes, thinner clothes, you will be able to move around way swifter, way more freely, and way quicker. I think that's a very interesting thing. We've seen similar things in the past, but not quite like this. Because you can almost go straight down the middle and go half and half. Like where you can have a little bit of stealth, a little bit of that ghost mentality, and have some light clothing on. But then you can take the other half and do a little bit of extra armor. You could throw on a little bit so you still have good movement, still have a few tools and tactics for the stealth approach. But then you also still have that fatal blow and a little bit of that extra defense to make sure you stay alive in combat. So th these kinds of things are going to make this game unbelievably incredible. Like this is probably definitely my most anticipated game this summer. And I was really praying for it back when the original release date was there. I was dying for it, but it got pushed back a lot like everything else did. Um, but man, this is going to be a beautiful one, guys. Like, just trust me on this one. Go check out some more details and more videos if you'd like. But I'm promising you, you will love this game. There's going to be so much incredible things to explore and to just dive into. I can't wait to be controlling a character in a Japanese setting like this. A true, real, like, authentic Japanese setting where I can literally be a samurai or a ninja. Like, let's get it, boys. I can't wait. Let me know what you guys think of this game. Let me know what you guys want to see from it. I can't wait. They're, I just think they're going to nail it. I, and I really hope they don't miss the mark on it. But I think from what I've seen and what I've heard... This is going to be a good one. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. I just wanted to get a quick video out there to let you guys know what to expect from this game. It, I, it, uh, it makes me speechless already, and I haven't even got my hands on it. <laughs> but, again, appreciate you watching. Much love. Yo, catch our Twitch streams on Rarity underscore TV. We hang out like once or twice a week with some friends over there and play some awesome games. Um, make sure you check out our podcast. We're on all podcast apps. Check those out. They're awesome. We get some bunch of nerds together to talk about all this epic stuff that's happening. Uh, the Ubisoft Forward event is actually happening today, so I'll be covering that very soon. If you want to hear more about Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Hyperscape, Watch Dogs Legion, all that good stuff. Can't wait to see you guys again. Peace out and keep on gaming.